I do believe that the, the president has cooperated very well with all the law enforcement agencies. Uh, the public protector, the walks, DPCI, um, the parliament, there is a, a, um, a committee set up by parliament. So all the various arms of state are um, investigating the matter and that is as it should be. That is what is required as per our constitution. And the president is cooperating. At no stage did he refuse to cooperate with any law enforcement agency. And I think that is what a good leader does. So the president is one of the architects, the key architects of the constitution. And he is honoring that. And I think if he honors the constitution as our president, it is a remarkable thing to do, an admirable thing to do. Um, he is allowing himself to be investigated, uh, and I think he should be he should be respected for that. And the president should be given time to um, to respond to all the investigations. He, he should be allowed to. I mean, that's the right thing to do. Well, as I made the point in one of the questions, he should be setting the example. He's sworn to uphold all law of the republic. And when he's in breach or allegedly in breach of it, I think he's got a duty to make a full and proper disclosure. I think the cloak and dagger game that's been played and the drip feed of information is unsatisfactory, both for the presidency, but also for the country. Um, the president should just have made a full disclosure up front and said, these are the circumstances and said quite clearly to the nation, I will submit myself to any processes or pay any fine. Instead, we've seen him running for cover at every opportunity and his party again as we saw yesterday when they voted against the creation of an ad hoc committee of shielding him and protecting him from that parliamentary accountability that should be there.